we're going to go through some aspects of minimum, average, and maximum intensity projections. Where the red number is 0 0.62, where the cursor is, that's the thickness of this current view of this images of the lungs, of the chest. So if you scroll through, that's just how it looks normally um, with this projection. We're going to change the view right now. And, and here we have a MIP, MIP, Maximum Intensity Projection. This view is great for looking at vessels, at the pulmonary arteries as such. You see how the vessels on the branches of that kind of illuminates and you could see it very nice and clear. Um, that's Maximum Intensity Projection. Whereas there's, if you're looking at other things, for instance, like your lungs, you want to look at the airways, the lungs, you're going to change that red portion to minimum intensity projection. So now we're not looking so much at the vessels, we're more looking at the trachea. Um, we change it to a lung window and then um, it's still on the minimum and you see how the lungs kind of pop out at you and you see the trachea very well, that's the minimum intensity projection. So it's a very good image of that. And then if you change it to average, that's just the average look of things. Um, you don't get great details of one or the other, less the vessels or the lungs, um, unless you change it. So again, minimum intensity projection, you'll really see that nice and clear trachea, that pipe coming through um, just in detail. So just another way to look at that. And then, so now let's compare it um, again. So minimum is this is how it looks like if you just kind of scroll through it rotate it and then maximum you see that how the vessels just pop out and then when you change the maximum to average it doesn't compensate for the other tissues so that's why that's just how it looks Mim, you see the vessels and then min you see the airways. Yeah, and that's the difference between average, minimum intensity projection, and MIP, maximum intensity projection. Thank you for watching.